Okay, welcome to this side of the world. And now we are moving towards more interesting part where I will try to first create a simple one element model. And I will use default material model for phone with plasticity. Then I will use a humor subroutine which I which we developed during this course. And I will try to run the simulation and see if there are any similarities or if there are any issues we are facing. So let me create the part first. So I'll create a 3D solid extrusion part. I will create a rectangle from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So I'm giving a dimension of 1. And then I press this. And then I give a depth of extrusion to be 1 as well. So I have a 1 by 1 by 1 cube here. Next thing is the properties. And in this case, I will go to the material manager, create. And in this case, I will define the elastic properties. So I'm going to give a value of, let's say, 200,000 megapascals and a Poisson's ratio of 0.33. Okay. And then for plastic part, I will define the yield strength, let's say, to be 300. And at the plastic strain is of 0.0. Okay. So this means that after that, the yield strength will be the same. Okay, and then I go to the create solid section and then I will select solid homogeneous material. And material one is the one which we just created. And then I will assign this material to this section, which is material one, solid homogeneous section one. So now it's green, this means material properties are working fine. I will instance this part to the assembly module since we only have one part, so we don't need to do any rotation, translation, tra rotation, translation, etc. operations. Now we go to the step definition, step manager, and I will create a general static step. I will, I can turn the energy on or I can turn it off. So let's turn it on for the time being. And then 10,000, because we can go with a very plus, large plastic deformation as well. Also, I'm giving an initial time increment. Remember, this was the initial time increment where the strain rate is strain increment is decided by the solver, and the maximum is also 0.1. So, for a total time of one, if all the things go fine, then we will have 10 number of increments. If it doesn't converge in this size, then it will automatically start to reduce and it will go up to one exponent minus five in as a increment time increment size. Okay, so we have the step definition ready. There is no interaction needed for you loading. I will use the displacement boundary conditions. And in this case, for uniaxial cases, I will fix three phases. This phase in Z direction, this phase in X direction, and this phase in Z direction. And then I will pull from the other, uh, the other surface on the opposite to this surface in Z direction. So displacements, this surface, and I will select U3 to be zero. Then I will create another one, this surface and UY to be zero, U2. And then I will create another surface and UX to be zero. Now I will rotate it so that I can see this surface here or this face and I will create a boundary condition of let's say a U3 and I will give a value of let's say one. I'm not sure how much will cause the plastic deformation. So I'm just going, I'm going with a guess. And it's a ram, this period will increase from zero to one in a linear manner. So looks okay now. Now I go to the mesh and I will say the mesh size should be one so that I only have one element here. So if I now mesh, then you will see it is only one element as it says in the bottom here. Okay, now meshing is done. So I'll go here and I will create a job. So I will say uni x here. A, B, A, Q, Mises model. Again, I'm using a very long name. Again, it's your preference what you really want. I always ask for full precision. So that's what I have done and now I submit. So if everything is defined correctly, this should finish in no time. So this is the monitoring 
part and you see your input file processor is fine now it's running and it finishes in no time okay now if you go to the results then you see it will expand in this direction as you see and it's a pretty large deformation so now if i want to plot x y stress strain curve for this material i go to field output and then i say logarithmic strain in three direction because we are pulling in three direction and the stress in three direction as well and then i will select this element i will save the data so i will go to xy data manager create operator next by data first combine absolute value of strain and absolute value of stress i should be positive but i'm just so default mat model okay then if I plot this, then you see it's an ideally plastic material. It yields at 300 and it goes perfectly fine. So Abacus model is working perfectly fine now. Now let's move to the user material subroutine and see how it behaves. Okay, so to do that, I think the easiest way for me would be if I go back to my temp directory. So this is the input file which I just created in the Abacus CAE. So it's better for me if I can just update this. So here is this file. I will just go to the editor and I will start updating the property. So what I have to do here is I need to remember, we need to get rid of all these things. So I will just make them comments. So double static is basically makes it comments. And then we need to first define the depth variable command and we have to give a value of 13 here next we need to define the user material property so i'm going to define for example user material constants equal to three and if you remember the constants were first one is x modulus second one is Poisson's ratio so i'm going to just copy paste that and the last one is the yield strength value because there is no hardening so that's what i have done here so also to tell which variable that variable is what I'm just copy pasting it here, but I mean, it, you, don't, you don't need to do it because we already are doing it in the code, but this way it will give the name to the variables. So let's run this one now and see what sort of curve we get. So, so to order to do that, we need to have a command. We have, need to open the command prompt and then you have to write abacus job equals to, again, you can run it in CAE as well. You can have a look at some of the videos which are available on YouTube, but I prefer to do it this way because if something crashes, uh, for example, Abacus CA has a tendency that for heavy subroutines, it crashes. You have to restart everything again, but this is more stable and it takes less resources. So Abacus job equals to uni XL, XL, which is the name of the file, input file, user equals to umat plasticity for or run file then i always use full double precision and then interactively so now it will first start to do compilation so it's compiled then it did the linking of the file for trunk compiler umet file and now it's doing the pre-processing of the input file processing if everything is fine then see now it's running fine so hopefully now we should be getting the very similar curve as what we have seen for the default model okay so it's finished and now we need to post process the results and for that i can open the odb file okay let me open these two models and one is the default model and one is the umat model odb file and then compare the results so this one is the umat model so if you look at the deformation it looks something like this if i plot create field output and i will select le33 because pulled in three direction and also s33 and then i will select the element press turn then save as is and then i will say 
xy data manager create operate on xy data and then i will plot i will combine them together so xx horizontal axis is strain vertical axis is stress and i will save as umat results okay and i will press ok i will just check for the show be sure so it goes there and then it yields are 300 and then we have ideal plastic case remove delete now for the second case which is the second model default model which is this one again we can see the deformation looks very similar and in this case again we're going to use the same variables and then do it again create field output same variables LU33 and S33 because everything is pulled in this direction press done and save okay and then I will create operate on XY data and then I will say combine strain stress and then I will say abacus model results okay i will delete rest of the stuff i'll remove this and now it's time to check so this is the result from umat and this is the one which i'm trying to add now with that and you see they are all matching with each other they're going over the top of the each other and if you want to make sure that everything is correct we're not missing anything you can go to the curves and maybe for this i can use some kind of legends and you see these legends will appear here if i use large so you see these triangles are going all over each other so it's very much exactly the same results as we got from the default model so our umat is working perfectly fine now move we move to the next part where we will look at the hardening model so firstly i will explain the theory in the next part and implementation part which will be quicker because now you already know how to implement the model without any hardening and then i will do the practical exercise as we have done it just now so see you on the other side again